all praises and honor to Ahaya. Praises and honor to his son Yahawashai. And a mighty salute to all the tribes of Israel. Especially the tribe of Judah who's leading the way. And to the tribe of Simeon and Ephraim. Who are also leading the charge. And um, God bless uh, each and every one of you guys watching the, uh, this video. Um... I'm gonna. Uh, this video is about the feast of dedications. Uh, I did a, a, a uh, Bible study uh, on the Sabbath day uh, this past Saturday, and um, just quick comment on the feast of dedications for all, for all of you who don't know what it is. Uh, you can you can find the feast of dedication in in the book of First Maccabees chapter four, and uh, there's a small reference also to it in the book of John, I believe chapter ten, uh, where the Israelites were celebrating it um, around the time Jesus was uh, ministering on the earth. Now, the videos that I do. Uh, they're really uh they're short and I, I like to keep it short because uh i want to give you a a general uh understanding of the things that i talk about here uh but these things that we did uh, talk about they're in scripture okay uh they're in scripture you can look it up for yourself on your own time uh and um these are the traditions and the customs of our people, the Israelites. The Israelites, uh, uh, as you know, the, the 12 tribes of Israel, the uh, the blacks, Latinos, and the natives are the original uh, Israelites of Deuteronomy 28. All right, we're the ones who are cursed. We're the ones who are uh, afflicted. We are the ones in, in Egypt in captivity. Now, our people... Uh, we do the best, uh, the best of our, uh, to our ability. We follow the laws of the Lord. Uh, we still, uh, uh there's still many things that we don't know, uh, as far as uh, the times and the dates. Uh, but we try to follow them to the best of our ability. Feast of the, uh, dedication is one of those feasts, uh, that our people have been, uh, celebrating for a long time it's also known as hanukkah uh but in the uh book of maccabees uh which is in the apocrypha uh which was put together by king james and scholars around the time of uh, 1611 uh it mentions the feast as the feast of dedications now a brief uh, over overview of the feast of dedications uh the feast of the dedication uh was uh, a war it was a war that took place between the israelites and uh the edomites okay you're going to find this in the book of first maccabees chapter 4 uh one of the uh, uh one of our israelites forefathers his name was judas he led uh he led the uh the war uh he led the israelites into battle <clears throat> against the edomites now the edomites uh, as you know they are uh esau idumia uh it mentions uh the uh idumians in the Maccabees, um, now the uh, our ancestors have been fighting Esau uh, since the time of before Christ and uh, during and even after Christ <clears throat> for hundreds and thousands of years. Uh, so in this particular battle, uh, Judas. 
uh, went into war. Uh, he had two encounters. And on both encounters, he asked the Lord for deliverance. And the Lord uh, struck fear into the hearts of the Edomites. Now, the Edomites uh, were very well equipped. They had uh, fine weaponry and armor. Okay. Uh, as opposed to our ancestors who were not uh, well uh, equipped. Um, and as you guys know that the blessing of Esau is the sword. Okay. So on this particular, uh, these particular encounters on this, on this day, the Lord, uh, heard the prayer of Judas. Judas was also known as Maccabees. And the Lord, uh, heard the prayer of Judas. Uh, in the battle, it states that uh, the e the Edomites uh, were struck with fear, okay, and they ran away. And uh, it's uh, very similar to what happened with with Jonathan, Jonathan and uh, and his uh, armor bearer. And it's very consistent with scripture where the Lord strikes fear into the enemies of his people. Uh, so, long story short, uh, uh, Judas uh, won the victory uh, in these two encounters he had against the Edomites. And um, the only thing uh, that happened was... Uh, the uh, the Edomites in their deceptive nature. After they lost these two battles, uh, they gathered a another a small group of militants from a nearby town, and they ransacked uh, the temple of the Israelites. And uh, then they, uh, after they ransacked the temple, they ran away. So they did a very cowardly thing. Um, they did a very sneaky thing. You know, they, they ransacked the temple after that battle. After those two failed attempts against the Israelites. Uh, after the temple was ransacked, uh, Judas and his men... <clears throat> proceeded to uh, clean up and they uh, reestablished uh, the temple and uh, the uh, apparently there was uh, for a time after that uh, there was a time of, of I guess peace or there was a there was a time of uh, you know where they could like take a breather a little bit Anyway, uh, Judas, uh, this was around the, uh, the year 100, and I think it was like 145 or something like that. It states it all in, in Maccabees. And so they, they, they dedicated that victory and it was called, uh, the Feast of Dedications and it's supposed to last eight days. Okay. That um that feast wasn't ordained by by the Most High God. It was a feast that our ancestors uh proceeded to uh partake in, and um, they decided that it was good to do that. So from that moment on um to now, uh, our ancestors celebrate that feast. So that feast, uh, it's around the ninth, the ninth month that is celebrated, which is, uh, to my understanding, uh, late November, early December. And so our ancestors, uh, because of the Roman Catholic, uh, the Roman calendar, uh, it is hard to pinpoint exactly what day it is. So, uh. 
we uh, try to do our best to celebrate uh, the Feast of Dedications. We try to pick uh, any, like a certain time frame. All the camps uh, all try to celebrate it uh, at a time which they believe is accurate. So, so right now we still don't... Um, we're still learning about our ancestors. We're still learning about our ways. There's a lot of things that we don't know. We're doing our best to recoup uh, the laws of the Lord. Uh, but we are still in captivity. Uh, Esau is still at war against uh, the Israelites. Uh, they're doing everything in their power to disrupt uh, us and disrupt our our awakening. Uh, Esau knows that once the true nation is established, that they have a very short time left. Uh, so God is still, he's still going to deliver us. We're just waiting. We have to wait on the Lord. We have to be gentle as doves, wise as serpents. We have to we have to imitate Christ. Uh, and uh, prayer and patience is what we need at this time. And uh, guidance from the Lord. So the Lord is the only one that can deliver us from uh, the hand of Egypt. Which is this one, which is where, the, where we live. This is Egypt. We have to wait, <clears throat> wait upon the Lord, ask for His protection and His guidance. Uh, we live; we're still in captivity, so we have to wait upon the Lord. Uh, you know, Esau still up to his uh, sneaky tactics. He's still trying to poison us. He's still trying to kill our ancestors. They're still doing the same thing they've been doing for hundreds of years. Uh, you know, we read in uh, Exodus that they were trying to kill the firstborn. All the Well, actually, not the firstborn, but they were trying to kill all the males of the Israelites. Uh, after Joseph died... Uh, after Joseph died, uh, the Israelites were growing strong, large in number, and uh, the Egyptians were uh, in fear of the numbers of, of the Israelites. They were in fear that we would overtake them and we would turn against them. <clears throat> and so uh, they started killing our children. And that is a tactic that they like to do. They like to kill our children. When they see that we are waking, waking up, when they see that we are uh, prospering, when, when they see that we grow, are growing in number, they try to kill our children. Now, the Lord blessed Israel. Uh, they, he blessed uh, Israel in the way that we would we would be prosperous, uh, that we would multiply as the stars in the sky and the in the sands of the sea. So we are a nation that multiplies. We are a nation that uh, we are blessed to make a lot of children. So in time, given the time, we uh, we make large families. We make uh, our families multiply. That is because that is the blessing of the Lord upon our lives. Uh, so wherever we go, we multiply and uh uh and <clears throat> Esau uh, f is is they get uh they are alarmed by uh how we <clears throat> how we grow and how we outnumber them so they turn into uh they turn into their old tactics their old ways by trying to kill our families and children. So that is what they're doing with, with this jab. That is what they're doing. That is what they've been doing with the, with our food, with our water. That is what they've been doing with uh, by spraying all the toxins in, in the air. 
So uh, that is what they've been doing with uh, by oppressing us, giving us hard labor. It is all the same tactics of when we were in Egypt in the time of Exodus. They're making our life uh, very difficult. They're making our, our work difficult. They're stressing us out. Uh, they're trying to kill our children. All right. Uh, and <clears throat> what do we need? We, we need the Lord to rescue us from, from this modern day captivity. Uh, you know, Esau has a blessing of, of, of war, of the sword. And, uh, uh, lest the Lord save us or help us, uh, we're going to fall victim to Esau, Esau's tactics. So we have to pray, uh, and, uh, so the Lord can give us victory and protect us through this whole nightmare, this captivity that we're living in. All right, brothers, uh, I think I went a little too long, but you get the idea. Um, you understand what the Feast of Dedications came from. And you celebrate it around late November, early December. And if you're like me and you decorate or anything like that, which they did, our ancestors did decorate. They decorated their homes with menorahs, uh, with silver and gold. You know, my decorations are going to be up probably till early, Jan <clears throat> early January. So, uh, but that is what our ancestors did. Uh, they, they celebrated that victory uh, over the Edomites. All right, the Edomites, which are the en enemies of Israel. <clears throat> Some Edomites will make it into the kingdom. You know, not all of them are completely wicked. So, but a, a mighty salute to the tribe of Judah. Uh, they are really Holy Spirit filled, and they really know uh, a lot of the stuff, the secrets of Scripture. God has been revealing it to them. So. They are leading the charge, tribe of Judah, mighty, and then a mighty salute to all the tribes, and, and let's pray that the other tribes start waking up slowly, so, or quickly, I'm on.